So we've done deflation, primary only, and military only. Today we're playing Magic Monkeys only, which is a game mode on hard difficulty and we're trying to survive as long as we can. In primary only, we could only farm using Geraldo's action figure. In military only, we had a lot of options to farm and thus had a lot more money than we needed. This time, we are somewhere in between. Using magic monkeys, we can farm using the rubber to gold upgrade on the alchemist, and also by using the middle path druid's ability. This ability brings in more money the more banana farms are in range of the druid, but of course we don't have access to farms, so the abilities will not bring in a lot of cash. Using Geraldo would of course bring a lot more money from a druid farm because of the reju potion, plus having the action figure. But I decided to go with the Seelie and hope that I would be able to farm enough using just the Alchemist and the Druids alone. Because of course, damage-wise, a Seelie is the hero that we would much rather have. As for Paragons, we only have one in this tower category, which is the Ninja Paragon. A very good one for late game. To start the game, we'll be trying to survive as long as we can using mostly Druids to get our farm going as soon as possible. We'll also place down a few rubber to gold alchemists to increase the money made from the pops. Once we start running into some problems using only druids for DPS, we'll get starting on building our ninjas. The plan is to get every tier 5 ninja, plus a shinobi army with a permabrew as defense during the farming period. We will continue to upgrade the ninjas as we need while we continue to build more and more druids. Having all tier 5 ninjas with a shinobi army and a permabrew is a very powerful defense for the price you pay, especially after update 35 which made the Grand Sabo buff to shinobis much better by giving it even more MOAB damage. A lot of people asked if I would do support only as a part of this video series, and yes I will. It is not a playable game mode despite that there are achievements in the game where you're supposed to play using only support towers. But we will set it up in the challenge editor and try that tower category as well, which will be fun. And also, I would like to give a big thank you for 10,000 subscribers. This channel has existed for just over 3 months, so that's about 100 people subscribing to the channel every single day, which is incredible. I have so many ideas for the future of this channel, both when it comes to regular videos and ways that you can interact with the content other than just watching it, but I'm gonna shut up about that for now and leave that as a nice surprise for the future. At the moment, I'm pretty busy with my computer science studies, but during the summer, I'm planning on working on the YouTube channel full-time instead of getting a summer job. So hopefully there will be a crazy amount of videos coming in the summer. I'm really looking forward to being able to put as much time as I want into this channel and really grind out some awesome content. So again, thank you all very much for these three awesome months and many more even better ones to come. Now back to the content of the video. After a while the ninja started to struggle a little, so we added some more defense like an avatar of wrath and a superstorm with a poplast army, and also a little unstable concoction for some super cheap extra DPS. The lag was actually a bit worse than I expected, and once again the farming was very annoying, pressing the ability hotkey many thousands of times. And of course because of the lag this took even longer. Just sitting there spamming the ability button thousands and thousands of times became quite boring, so when on round 213, when I started needing more defense, I was very happy to know that the end of this farming nightmare was coming to an end. And this is the point where I got the degree 76 ninja paragon, and also a true sun god. But of course, the true sun god and future temples can only be given the magic category sacrifice. And if you want to use temples as a part of your strategy, if the temples are to do any damage, you want to go for the full 50k in magic sacrifices so that they spawn the mini sun avatars. Given that we cannot get the VTSG since we can't give sacrifices in the other categories, we can get the legend of the night and the anti bloon. We want to place as many of the best towers near the middle as possible, so that they will all be in the range of Asili's totem, so that they will all get her buffs. 
after I increased my defense by getting the Ninja Paragon, True Sun God and the Legend of the Night. I kept the rest of the druids and kept farming until round 237, where I started running into some problems once again. And at this point I was so tired of farming that I decided that I was done and I sold all of the druids. For our defense, we'll get a few sun temples, all with 50k in magic sacrifices. The anti-bloon, all tier 5 ninjas back with the shinobi army and permabrew, and the increased range of the permabrew in update 35 is really nice by the way. We'll also get all tier 5 wizards, alex and druids, so basically every tier 5, and try to get as many of them as possible permabrewed and within the range of Vasili's totem. After that we'll use the rest of the money to get sun avatars all around the center of the map, and since they don't get the permabrew buff, we'll give them a few stronger stimulant alchemists. But what do you guys think about getting the true sun god and sun temples? Would I have been better off just spamming dark champions or sun avatars? Let me know what you think and what you would do and if you have tried this challenge yourself. Now because I'm lazy I'm gonna get some tech bots for all of my abilities and if I'm close to losing then I will use the abilities myself. Now this may cause issues like Isili using a hex on a BFB just at the end of a round which would lead to a GG the very next round but that was a risk that I was willing to take after hours of druid farming. On round 257 I was in some trouble. A lot of bads and fortified bads, and both Isili's ability and the Grand Sabo was on cooldown. This round I did beat by selling some towers and using the money to sell and rebuy Isili a few times, and I was just about able to clear the round. But the very next round was where it ended for this run. 258 rounds of pain, that is how I would describe this run. I'm looking forward to doing support only, which I suspect will be very laid back in comparison. If you want to see that, make sure you subscribe and leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time.